Hello everybody, in this episode I will show you how to check your current fuses. Today I will show you three methods on how to check your fuses. The method number one is to pull them out with a set of pliers. The method number two is to check them with a multimeter. I have here an old multimeter. As you can see this is a multimeter but it's a new model. But it's doing the same thing as the old one. And the method number two is to check them using a tool like this. You just have to put it to the ground and after that you have to put it on the fuse and a light will turn on if the fuse is good and if the fuse is burnt the light will, will not turn on. If you don't have any of these tools you just can create one. In order to create it you need a bulb and two wires. You just have to connect the wires to the bulb and one wire is for the ground and the other wire is for the fuse. If the bulb will turn on when you touch the fuse it's meaning that the fuse is good. If it's not turning on the fuse is bad. In order to check your fuses using a multimeter what you have to do is to put it on the ohm position as you can see onto the on position and the lowest number. In my case, the lowest number is 200, as you can see, 200 ohm. After that, you have to take a fuse. I have here a broken fuse to show you that nothing is happening when you touch the positive and the negative onto the fuse because it's broken. As you can see, on the screen it's not showing anything because the fuse is broken and the current is not passing through. Okay, now let's check a good fuse. This fuse is not burnt and we should have current passing through it. Just place your positive and negative and after that some numbers will be shown on the screen. This is meaning that the fuel is good and we have no problem with it. Now let's check this multimeter. This is a new model, but it's doing the same thing as the old one. You just have to put it on off and after that this one will make a sound if the fuse is good and will show you some numbers on the screen and if the fuse is not good it's not going to make any sound and it's not going to show you anything on the screen. This is another fuse with number 13 on it. Let's check it and see if it's good or not. Just place the positive and the negative and as you guys can see you can hear the sound and also the numbers are shown on the screen. So this is meaning that the fuse is good. This is all you have to do in order to check your fuses. Now let's go and check the fuses on the car. Like I said earlier, what we have to do is to put it on home position and after that on the lowest setting. In my case it's 200. You just have to place the positive and the negative onto the fuse. In my case, every fuse on this car is not blown. But this is what you have to do in order to check if it's burned or not. What you have to do now using this tool is to place the cable onto the ground. In my case I place it on the screw. And after that you just have to put it on every fuse to see if it's burnt or not. If the light turn on like you see here it's meaning that the fuse is not burnt if the light is not turning on this is meaning that the fuse is burnt this is a tool that i made earlier you just need a bulb and two cables you just have to place the ground and with the other cable you just have to put it on the fuse and uh, like i said earlier if the bulb will turn on it means that the fuse is good, if the bulb will not turn on, the fuse is bad. It's a very good tool and a simple tool.
the last thing that you can do in order to check your fuses is to take a set of pliers like I have here and pull every single fuse out of the fuse box and look at it and inside every fuse you will see a little part of metal if that little part of metal is not blown this is meaning that the fuse is good and you can put it back thank you for watching if you liked this video and found it informative please leave a like and a comment down below see you next time